Okay, everybody, we're gonna do some major weight reduction. You can see one seat is out, and I'm gonna pop out the driver's seat as well. And we're gonna put in these bad boys. Yes. The advantage of custom seat brackets is you can find the exact placement uh, that you're looking for in the car relative to your feet position, uh, hands on the wheel, uh, also being sure to consider things like um head clearance uh, with the helmet on, all of those factors. So, um, I, and I'm also going to be running a three-point optional harness and I'm going to keep the airbags uh, with sensor all in place. And here I am, all ready to go. Sean is about an inch taller than me, so hopefully uh, the dimensions will work nicely for him as well. With a design in mind, Kirk started to uh, cut the stock and fabricate. You can see the nice uh, TIG welds on this, so it's going to look real pretty. And, uh, and then after this, it's going to be dry fitting. All right, quick update. Uh... Some uh, some custom made seat brackets. Everything here is bespoke, so that's one off fit for the driver, and um, they'll be matching on each side. And the cool thing is, is we're gonna actually put the factory seat belts in to match this. You can see everything is just dry fitted. I'll get it all square. Anyways, kind of hoonigan style. After the brackets have been squared up, you just lay down final welds and you'll notice over here on the the center console side of the driver's seat the bracket is kind of tucked in the other way this is going to allow us to get the seat as close as we can to the center console most BMWs the seat is actually not centered on the wheel it's really annoying so we're trying to get that over as far as we can so that's super exciting for me <laughs> well brackets are fitted to the seat Little bit of adjustment uh, in car to get it centered. We're gonna do that with washers on the inside. Rock and roll. And here's the final dry fit. Looking good. Back in the cave here. Uh, customers looking for factory seatbelt mounts on the on the on the seat mounts. Um, so what I've got here is here's the factory. We've got a, a factory with the um, uh, the charge. Uh, for uh, all lined up here and what we want to do is make sure that it's, it's lined up properly so if you see there's a little there's a little nib on there right here as well and that's going to line up to this slot here um, so it's all it's all ducked up it's on the right angle and uh, that doesn't interfere with anything just like the factory now you can see it's all lined up perfectly sit right in there tucked in beside the uh, the seat we actually wired in the stock passenger airbag sensor as well too. So we've got fully functional three point system with working airbags on both sides, driver and passenger. And uh, you can see here with the brackets all ready to go, it's time for paint. And of course we chose red, which is a part of the internal style that we're going after inside the car. Oh yeah, look at him go. Oh, he's done it. And it's square. Hoo-ha! It, it, it's no discursive square. Just a quick pause in the video here. So what I'm actually doing is I'm not allowed to touch the finished work inside <laughs> on this job. Uh, just kidding. Um, so I'm actually creating uh, custom plates um, to go underneath the car to support the harness installation. So again, we're using, uh, we're looking at race safety standards to make sure that the harness um, is properly, it's a six point harness, make sure it's properly mounted inside the car following all safety standards. To secure the six point harness, we went ahead and removed the uh, sound deadening from the flooring, marked the locations 
drilled through and used my custom braces behind, torqued everything down. And after that, reinstalled the carpeting because I'm looking for the nice, clean Porsche GT3 RS look, something that has like, you know, nice uh, fixed seat backs with a, a half cage in it, but is nice and clean and from the factory inside. So it looks amazing. Okay, in the brain cave, little update. Fancy red brackets. Customer with a big ass smile. This is the, we just, we just uh, spun everything in. This is the first dry fit. And of course the driver needs to be here to make sure it all works, all that measuring. So get your ass in there, buddy. <laughs> Let's go. Uh. And if it doesn't fit, no guarantee. <laughs> Then I have to either lose weight or gain Well, weight. it's whatever works, man. <laughs> oh, How's that fitting? That's nice. It's working? I don't know. I think it needs to go back a bit. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> that costs extra. All right. So we have the pilot strapped into his M. And he's got all the goodies. He's got the, the right measurement here for his feet. He's got the hands. He's racing with a Hans without a helmet. Not sure what that's about, but that's the way the provocateur works. I'm pretty sure he's happy. Okay, the M's gonna be ready to leave here. You can see what we ended up with. A couple of seats, a little half cage in there. Passengers all buckled up. Some really nice custom brackets. Anyways, race ready. Hopefully we have a happy customer if he comes into view here. Absolutely. He seems to have a happy smile. There we go. What a compliment to have your project picked up by a manufacturer's social media feed. Really top-notch work from No Brainer Racing. Kirk Jones, thank you very much. I encourage you guys to go ahead and comment, like, subscribe. We've got lots of great projects coming up that you won't want to miss out on. Thank you for watching.